supplementary question. Question number 12, a point of order. Order! order. A point of order? Yeah. Point of order. Uh, Dr. The Honourable Lockwood Smith. Madam Speaker, I seek leave to table a document entitled Draft Cabinet Paper Immigration Investment Policy that states the Ministers of Immigration and Finance have been recommending not bothering with investment criteria and simply selling residents leave at a high price. Leave us all to table that document. Is there any objection? No objection. Question number 12, the Honourable Toe Henry. Thank you, Madam Speaker. Question to the Minister of Māori Affairs. Can he, con can he confirm that the breakfast bash where he launched the new Māori dictionary cost taxpayers up to $75,000? How much? The Honourable Parikara Horamea. Madam Speaker. Madam Speaker. Order. The final cost for the two-day symposium is still to be calculated. I am advised, advised that it is well below $75,000. To Toto Fidi Tereo, the Māori Language Commission, is contributing $50,000, and to Puni Kōkiri will contribute the balance. Supplementary question, the Honourable Toe Henry. Madam Speaker, how does he explain to Māori struggling to make ends meet? when under his watch the number of Māori on the sickness benefit has almost doubled, when under his watch the number of Māori on the invalids benefit has more than doubled, and that the best use he can find for their tax dollars is large quantities of mutton birds, oysters and champagne. The Honourable Parikura Horamea. Madam Speaker, Madam Speaker, can I remind that member with our growing young demographic and our other end of a growing ageing demographic that there are things that happen and increase in the sickness area. But can I also remind them that the unemployment rate has gone down nearly 82 per cent and that Māori are coming off the benefit four times quicker than Parkers and that Māori are going into work four times quicker than any other ethnicity in this country. That's what you should jump on every breakfast time and think about it. A supplementary question, the Honourable Order. Madam Speaker, the Honourable Dr can Michael the, Cullen. Can the Minister confirm that the member who's asked this question is only too happy to turn up to free Māori bashes in Parliament to have free food and drink? And what upset him about this one, it was a dictionary, and that's beyond his understanding. <laughs> Well, the Honourable Parikura Horamea. I'm sure that I'm sure that is certainly behind his comprehension. The comprehension in this book of 24,000 words is a real feat achieved in this country. The Oxford Dictionary took 80 years to make. This has taken eight years. It has all the words in this country. It will be relished by students in this country. Our language will be, be preserved. And it's certainly worthwhile having a breakfast bash over. Supplement order, supplementary question, the Honourable Toe Henry. Given that the Minister has just confirmed that the breakfast bash that he went to and he he it was out of his budget, the seventy five thousand dollars came, can he confirm can he confirm that the number of unemployed has gone down and they've just transferred over to the, to the sickness benefit and the invalids benefit. The same number, the same number of people have transferred over and this is all we've got after nine long years. Oh, yeah. Madam Speaker, that is outrageous. That is absolutely wrong. And that is the problem with the National Party. They've got no Māori policy. They don't even understand what's happened under this great Labour-led government over the last nine years. Māori are better off than they ever have been. You know that's a fib. You want to zip this up. Supplementary question. Dave Periora. Order, Dave Periora. Order. Thank you, Madam Speaker. Can the Minister explain what was involved in the launch of her Pataka Kupu? 
The Honourable Parikira Horan. Madam Speaker, several hundred people participated in the activities associated with the launch over two days. The launch over two days. And that member should buy one of these, forty dollars. Be worthwhile. These activities included a series of pre-briefings and meetings the evening before the breakfast, the pohiri, the official launch, breakfast and expert panel discussion and planning sessions for the next components. It's also on the net. It's a great document. And the other issue, Madam Speaker, is something I'll wait to see what he asks. Supplementary, <laughs> Supplementary question. Madam Speaker. Madam Speaker, that, that has to be the best. Madam, Madam Speaker, that has to be the best answer he's ever given in his life, Madam Speaker. But can he confirm, Madam Speaker, that thirty thousand dollars was spent not only on the breakfast, but flying people in from around the country, putting them up in a hotel, and also having a big feed of mutton birds, oysters and champagne, notwithstanding the great, the great dictionary launch. How does he explain that to the... No, no, I haven't finished. Oh. Sit down. Oh. How does he explain that to all those poor people, in fact, up in the East Coast and up in the North, uh, in the north that own that their basic wage is a measly $16,000 a year? Yeah. Madam Honourable Speaker, Honourable I could talk to that member about working for families and whatever. I can also remind that member in the reign of the National Party that they took the minimum wage up once, 68 cents. This government has taken it up eight, nine ten times and ensured those families in work will continue. What I can tell that member about the costs and the accommodation is they did fly in people like Professor Patu Hohepa, Professor Poe Tamara, Professor Faruhuia Milroy, Professor Tamati Reedy, Dr. Katarana Matata, and Mr. Ripuwai Higgins, and heaps of others. And that this organisation, this organisation, Tota Fiti, is chaired and managed well by another Henare from up north who does know his business, and I'm thankful that Erima Henare has done a good job with his dictionary. Point of order. Point, it's point of order. The Honourable Tohenry. Thank you, Madam Speaker. Seek leave of the House to table the uh, numbers from 1996 to 2008, the sickness benefit and the invalids Love benefit. Is, leave us sought to table that document. Is there any objection? Yes, there is objection. Supplementary question, the Honourable Trevor uh, Mallard. Madam Speaker, uh, can the Minister confirm that the member who has been asking the questions, has been auditioning not only for his job, but also for his suit. And, uh, and, uh, and the reason for his change in shape is he ate half the food at the breakfast. Well, there's no ministerial responsibility. Order! Order, we're starting to get silly. Uh, Jerry Brownlee, order! Jerry Brownlee. Madam Speaker, my point of order is I, I seek leave to table a document showing that for the cost of the breakfast, the government could have given away 1,845 of the dictionaries. Leave us sought to table that document. Is there any objection? Yes, there is objection. Point of order, the Honourable Toe Henry. I seek leave of the House to make a personal statement with regards to that last comment. Leave us sought. Uh, is there any objection? No objection. Madam Speaker, just to inform the House and Mr Mallard, that I never even went to the slap-up bash that cost them $75,000 and had a good feed of mutton birds, oysters and champagne Thank as you. Well. Uh, call on Government Order of the Day number one. 